Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jim Fahad. I'm a web developer. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize WordPress login page. So from a generic WordPress login page, something like this to this. So without further ado, let's go back to our computer screen. All right. So this is the generic WordPress login page and this one is the custom WordPress login page that we're going to make. So first of all, you may have a question in your mind that why we need a custom login page instead of a generic WordPress login page. Okay, you may want to surprise your friends or colleagues that you have a different WordPress login page than them. Or if you have a membership website, in that case, if you have a custom logo of your brand, a custom background, a custom button color, that would make your login page really stand out and it would look like a branded page. So let's do it. For demonstration purpose, I'm using two browser here. This one is the Firefox browser and here is Google Chrome browser. Because you know it's a login page customization. So if we are logged in like this, we cannot see the changes we make on the login page. So we need to log in and out each time to see what changes we are making. That's why I'm using two browser. So from Google Chrome, we will change the settings and we will see our outcome on Mozilla Firefox. All right, so let's go to Google Chrome and this is the front end of our website. First, let's go to the dashboard. So from top left, let's click on dashboard and we will be doing it really easily. So I want to use a plugin for it. So let's go to plugin, click on add new and I'm searching for a plugin says Edident custom login and dashboard. So here it is. Let's click on install, activate it. So here is the plugin Edident custom login and dashboard. Here's the settings option. You can click here to make the changes or from the left bar from settings, you can see here custom login and dashboard. You can click here or here. Let's click here on the settings. Here is our custom login page settings options. Let's click here first and minimize this. So we need to focus only on these three things. Login screen background, login screen logo and login form settings. So let's click first login screen background. If we click here, it will be expanded. And here's the settings for that. So in generic WordPress login page, if we look, you can see kind of white background. So if we want to change this background to something unique, so we can do that from here. So I want to change the background image first. To do that, let's click here, add background image. I'm clicking here. Let's go to upload files select files let's select this image and click open and now click insert into post and here you can see background size i want to make it cover so i'm typing here cover all right now scroll down click on save changes and for now let's have a look how it is looking if we now refresh this page you can see here is our custom background image here and also you can see here a logo says your logo it's just a dummy logo it's came with the Airdent plugin we have just installed we will replace this with our own logo so let's change our logo now go back to our dashboard we were here login screen background so we have changed our background now we want to change our logo so here login screen logo click here and here you can see logo url and on the right a button says add logo click here to upload our logo upload files select files and here is the logo open it insert into post and from here you can change the logo width and logo height and here you can change the power by text like here i want to say jim fahad digital for now let's click save changes and have a look refresh this one here is a logo but it looks too stretched so let's fix its height and width so let's go back to dashboard so here's the logo width i want to make it 275 and logo height i want to make it 25 let's save it now and check it from other browser refresh it yep it looks perfect now i also want to change the background of this box 
I want to change the color of login button. I also want to remove the box shadow of this login box. And then I want to change the text color of this two link. So let's do it. Now from dashboard, let's click on login form settings. Click here. And here you can see the options for login form width, login form border radius, login border style, thickness. So if you want, you can customize this width. If you want to make this width more bigger, you can change it from here instead of 350, you can make it 500 or 600. But I'm good with 350 and border radius 10 is good. I want to change the background image. Now if we have a look, you can see a background image already. It came with the plugin if you don't want that. So just keep it blank. And instead of a background image, if you want to use a background color, you can do it from here. So I want to use here a pure white color. So you can pick the color from this color picker. So if I drag it at the top, it's FFFFFF. That's white and you can manage the background opacity from here. I want to make it 0.5. So let's save it, save changes and now have a look, refresh. You see it's white but I made the opacity to 0.5. So it's transparent now we can see the background at the same time. It also looks cool but for now I want to add a background image here. So let's go back, let's click on login form settings from here. Click on add background image, upload files, select files and from here I want to select this image, open it, search into post. Also we can customize some other options here together. Like if you want to change the label text color, you can do it from here. You can change the text size of your login page, text color, input text size and here's the option for login from link color. So I want to change it to white. So let's click here, drag it at the top. So here is FFF, FFF, that's white color. Now click outside and here the option enable link shadow. No, I don't want shadow. So click on no, scroll down. Here also you can see enable form shadow. No, I don't want that shadow. Click on no. Here you can see the option for login from shadow color. It won't work anymore because we have selected this no. And here you can see the option for login button color. I want to change it to our branded color. So it's FB4D00. And here is couple more option like hide register, lost your password link. And here is the website link. Of course I don't want to hide these two links. These are important. So let's keep this both no. And now scroll down, click on save changes. Now let's go back to our other browser and refresh it. It looks really nice now. But instead of this background image, I want to use another image. So let's go back to our dashboard. Let's click here, login screen background, add background image, upload files, select files. And I want to use this image, open it, insert into post and scroll down, click on save changes. Let's now have a final look, refresh this page, awesome. It looks really unique and branded now. Now let's log in from here to see. Click login. No. So we have successfully logged in. If we now go to visit site. Here is our WordPress website. And I have a full 5 hour long step by step video. How I made this beautiful WordPress website with nice animations without doing a single line of coding. I will put that YouTube tutorial link in the description below so you can check that out. Now let's log out from WordPress, logging out and here is our WordPress custom login page again. Thanks for watching the tutorial. If you like this, please this give video a thumbs up. And I'm a web developer. If you need any WordPress help, you can contact with me through my website. It's jimfahaddigital.com. I will put that link in the description. And make sure you have subscribed to this channel because I have many more things coming in this channel. Everything is related to website creation, WordPress, blog, how you can make profit from your website. You don't want to miss any of that. 
So please subscribe this channel. See you there. Thank you.